Hi guys, this is Kent from Killer RC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to charge the Killer RC 6000 and 7200 milliamp LiPo radio receiver battery packs with this IMAX B6 AC Pro charger. We sell this charger in the Killer RC store for $59. It's a great little charger, does pretty much everything you could need. Now it has a wall outlet here. You can plug it into the wall outlet in your home. It works on uh, 100 to 240 volts, so it will work in Europe as well as the United States. It also comes with this little uh, 12 volt cable here. Uh, you can plug it into a, a 12 volt car battery or a 12 volt power supply if you're not near a, a, a wall outlet, like if you're out at the field or the track. You can plug it in and power it that way. Now, with the Killer RC uh, LiPo packs, these are radio receiver battery packs. They're not for charging brushless electric cars. These are only for powering servos and radios, uh, usually used on gas or uh, nitro cars. So we were able to pack a lot of capacity in a really small size and at a really good price. And when you're charging these, I recommend that you use a lipo sack uh, for safety. You want to open this up, and this battery pack, uh, I mean, this uh, lipo sack is uh, uh, fire resistant. And just in case something happens during the charging process, uh, the battery gets hot or uh, starts smoking. Or things like that, the uh, lipo sack will keep all that contained and uh, keep a uh, fire from spreading. And it's good to use these with, with any kind of battery, even the uh, nickel metal hydride or NICAD batteries, even those kinds uh, of batteries can still ex explode. So it's good to keep an eye on your charger and your batteries and never leave them unattended. We sell this uh, lipo sack in the Killer RC store for uh, $11.99. Now, I'm going to use the 6,000 milliamp, the slightly smaller pack here. And first I'm going to plug in the balance plug. Now, there's three plugs on this battery. Uh, there, there's two power plugs. That's just for convenience, a short, a short one and a long one. Uh, you can use, uh, depending on uh, how you want to charge them, uh, you can plug uh, one into your car and leave the other one outside the battery box. If you want to charge a LiPo uh, in the car, which I don't recommend you do, but if you wanted to, you could uh, leave this one hanging outside the battery box and charge it real quick without removing it from the car. But you can pick either one of these uh, plugs. They both do the same thing. Now, uh, on this charger, it comes with uh, several different types of plugs um, in the box. Uh, it includes several different types of plugs, and I've already got the JR Futaba uh, servo style plug, which is what is on uh, all radio receivers. And I'm going to plug the, the battery in here, make sure the wires are lined up, black on top, make sure those line up. And now we're all plugged up and ready to go with some settings on the charger. This charger is brand new in the box. I haven't messed with anything. Um, so let's just check out some of the uh, modes here. Here's nickel metal hydride, NICAD, lead acid, some saving and loading modes. You can hook this thing up to a computer and, uh, and save your information. And here's the program mode. This uh, lets you change several features. Uh, I'm going to go in here, since these are really high capacity packs, I'm going to go in here and increase one of the settings in the program mode. This this charger um, comes comes sorry comes set at 5,000 milliamp uh, max uh, charge capacity. So we're going to bump that up. I'm going to bump it up to 7,200 since the biggest pack that I have here is a 7,200. So we're going to jump through the modes here. Uh, safety timer. Um, if you're charging them, real, if you're charging the batteries at a really slow rate, you might want to increase this up to like 300 minutes or something like that. 
Now here we are. Uh, capacity cut off on 5,000. I'm going to bump this up to 7,200. I probably won't need this much capacity because I usually don't totally drain my batteries all the way to zero. That's kind of hard to do and kind of bad for the battery. But uh, just in case, we're going to bump that up to 7,200. If you if you only have the 6,000 pack, then you could just bump it up to 6,000. All right, we're good. Good there. Now we're at the lipo section, and we're going to go ahead and charge these batteries. Uh, now once we're in the lipo section, we could do several things. We could uh, charge the battery. We could just balance the battery, the two cells. We could do a fast charge, or we could do the lipo storage mode, which if, you're, if you've got a battery and you're not going to use it for a while, it's good to use this lipo storage mode because you don't want to leave uh, lithium batteries fully charged for more than a, uh, a week. Um, two weeks is probably fine, but if you're going to you know, put the car away and uh, not use your battery over the winter or whatever, you, you don't want to leave the battery fully charged. You want to discharge it down to about 60%, and that's what this lipo storage mode is going to do. It's going to discharge the battery down to about halfway and that's best for the cells when they sit there for a long time and there's a discharge mode um, you probably will never need to use that so we're back to the charge uh, lipo charge mode I'm gonna press start it's asking me how uh, what amperage do I want to charge the battery at I'm gonna go up to 3 amps this is a 6,000 milliamp battery pack. I like to charge it at half capacity. If I wanted to, I could go all the way up to 6 amps. If I wanted to charge it, or 5 amps is the, is the highest this charger will go. And uh, uh, if I charge it at 5 amps, it would charge this pack all the way in uh, about a little over an hour if it was totally dead. But if I've got time to spare, I like to set it at 3 amps, and that's a little easier on the cells of the battery. So we're good at 3 amps. Now it's asking me what voltage. I'm going to bump, that, bump it up to 7.4 volts. That's two cells in series. Now I'm going to hold this down. It's checking the battery, making sure all the cells are good and the connections are good. It's saying... Uh, uh, is this battery pack two cells in series? Confirm. Yes, I'm going to confirm that by pressing start. Now the battery is ch is charging. It's at three amps. Here's our elapsed time, how long it's been charging. This is the milliamps that the charger has is putting into the battery. And here's our voltage. This is going to go up to eight and a half or so. And that's normal. This number is going to change. And the milliamps is just going to keep growing until the battery is fully charged. Once the battery is fully charged, the the charger will sense that and it will automatically stop. It will uh, beep a few times and then on the screen it will say uh, charging has ended. And you're done. Uh, and you just unplug everything and put it in your car and go. Now, if I was using the 7200 milliamp battery pack I would do things pretty much the same. I would just charge at a little higher capacity. I would charge it at half of 7200 would be 3.6. So I could do that. If I was in a rush, I could bump it up all the way up to 5 amps and it's going to charge a little faster. But since I'm not in a rush, I'm just going to go with half and charge at 3.6. Hold down the start button. It's checking the battery. Start again, and now we're charging. And that's pretty much all there is to charging these LiPo packs. Just let the charger do its thing. And keep an eye on it and uh, just to be safe. And uh, this battery pack will give you super long run times in your uh, gas or nitro RC cars.